Yo, 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 what's up? It's your boy Steve, the rookie Lake County Rides here. All right, guys, um, we're going to talk about a certain YouTuber out there, the fraud, the Rideshare right Hub. Um, guys, I want you to stay away from him. Um, I'm making this video because it seemed like I made, I see I made a live stream last night and there were some comments in there. Oh, let him do his thing. Let him do this. Well, here's the thing, guys. I hate liars, okay? Um, and I'm going to point out a couple of things in this quick video. I tried to make another one, but it didn't work. Um, I'm going to attach two videos, which I'll show you here in a minute. But as you can see, you click on this kid and, you know, how to get a retroactive sign-on bonus. There is no su such thing as a bonus, okay? Lie. There is such a thing as a guarantee, meaning you will get guaranteed money by doing certain trips is misleading his audience numerous occasions this 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 whole uh, car giveaway fraud um i'll show you guys i don't have proof of it yet i'm working on that i'll have that hopefully by the end of the day i want to show you guys something interesting though he talks about how i make driving how i make 29 dollars an hour driving in uber and lyft um and then he'll make a video Let's see, where'd it go? Um, I already passed it. And he talks about all these things. He clickbaits every single one of his videos. Now, we all have clickbaited in the past, but not as much as this kid. Every motherfucking video he makes is a fucking, is a fucking clickbait. Uh, where is it at? I failed as a driver. You never were a driver. Why? I quit Uber and Lyft. But then he comes over here and he talks about how you can make more money by doing Uber and Lyft. Right? Same month. Um, the car giveaway is bullshit until I see proof. See right here? It's probably is, he's probably related. I can see a little resemblance in the face too. That's just me. But uh, what I would like is for this person to come actually forward and say, oh, yeah, this was true. Show me a receipt. You guys can see my comment here. Okay. I don't know if it'll actually open. Yeah. We would love to see uh, actual proof, Dylan. If you did this, good, but you have been dishonest a lot. So how about a receipt or something? I could easily easily ask a family member, a friend, to do a video, or to let me do a video on them buying a car. So let's set it straight. Obviously, we still haven't gotten a comment on that. Um, but I want to share some other interesting things. I mean, you guys can go through his channel. I don't recommend it. I mean, all of his videos are fucking clickbait. Um, but what I do want to show you guys is a couple things. Uh, bam Bam, the Limitation Ride Share. Uh, he actually has the... Uh, when McLovin was on the uh, Graham Stevens show. I'm going to link that at the bottom below. I want you guys to listen to that. You'll understand it right. And as Bam says here... For those of you who still don't see it and have been asking, this is the video where McLovin went on the Graham Stevens show talking about how to make fifteen to seventeen thousand dollars a month. Yet he's supposed to give away a car at ten thousand subs. He's sitting at fifteen thousand a month ago, still hadn't given the car away. He is so twisted, he owes one of you in the community car, and I will make damn sure it's not forgotten. And there's too many red flags, guys. Um I did a live stream last night, you know, there were some comments. Let the kid do his thing. Yeah, that's fine. But don't lie to your fucking audience. Um, because that's what he is. He's a fucking liar, guys. Um, but, I mean, I, I can't be more transparent than that. So I'm going to link that below. I would play it, but I don't want to make this video too long. And then another one, which you guys really need to go check out, is Uberman Tampa. He made a really good video about how this kid copyright and steals. He has no right to be doing this shit. Where's it at? Yeah. McLoving. Actually play the video. Um, McLovin tagging his video with major YouTubers. Um, and in this video, it's good. Uh, cheating. YouTube tags. This kid is using major YouTube channel names to tag his videos. Now, that is true. Uh, check out Uberman Tampa's video. I'll link it below as well. You know, in, in Uberman Tampa's video, he makes it very abundantly clear to you guys that 
you know, this kid is is basically clickbaiting and using um, hard work by other YouTubers, especially other YouTubers who are drivers, guys. That's what this kid is doing, and I, and I don't understand why you guys can't understand that, you know. Um, yeah, I got a lot of uh, I got a lot of hate from it last night in my stream. I have nothing against anybody. You guys know that. Uh, but I don't like liars, I don't like thieves, and I don't like cheaters. And that's all this kid is. Uh, it's absolutely ridiculous that I should even have to come on here and explain myself. Now, the question was brought up, lastly. Okay. The bottom line is this kid lies to his audience. Uh, he does it for subs, he does it for ad revenue. And once you watch the Stephen Graham interview, you'll understand why. Because he doesn't drive. All of his money is about YouTube. And a lot of you say, well, let him do his thing, let him do his thing. Well, whatever. Okay? So if you click on why I return my Tesla All three, handcrafted again, beverages are only... But we're going to come down here to the reasons. My knee pain. Backup noise. Give me a fucking break. Defects. But look at number five. Financial. Financial. But he claims he makes all this money on YouTube. He claims he makes seventy thousand dollars a year, right? He goes on the Stephen Graham show and says he has, I think he said forty to fifty thousand dollars in the bank. Okay. Yeah, he's got financial issues because he he doesn't make what he says he makes. He's a fucking liar, and I hate fucking liars. So to answer your questions out there, for those of you that wanted to make comments, nothing against you personally. This is why we don't like this kid. All right, and I'm going to answer another question that was brought up this morning, I believe. Okay, and the question was, has he caused problems in your life or something like that or harmed you in your life? Yeah, he kind of has, and I'm going to explain why. When I started doing uh, Uber as a rookie in March, I came across him because I typed in like Uber. Right, so I came up here to the top, and I just I just click out of here, and I just type in Uber advice. Okay, look at the second video. Ride your hub, ride your hub. Simple driver, he's no better, but well, that's that's for another day. So, obviously, that's how I came across him. So, to answer that person's question, when I started taking this little punk slice. I was making about $100, $180 a week as a part-time driver in one of the shittiest markets that exist, okay? And I thought, man, that's all I can make? Shit. That sucks. Oh, well. It is what it is. But then I came across other people. Okay, you guys know who you are. Two of you in Chicago. Three of you in Chicago. One of you here in Florida. Oh, there's a couple others. Uh, New York, you know. And I started piecing my advice together. You guys know who I take my main advice from. And the reason I do that is because I now average 350 to $600, 650 sometimes a week part-time in the shitty Orlando market. And if you guys don't believe me, I have an Instagram, um, which is in the description below. You guys can go down there. I have started posting my pay statements down there on my Instagram page. Um, and then aside from that, I do usually make videos, uh, let's see, I do usually make videos about my earnings, let's see, um, like basically the other day, nice start to the week, I was about the drunk, uh, let's see, my lousy week, being sick, no good, um, I don't clickbait. You know, I might have one video that might be clickbait, and I think it was the minor video I made with my daughter where we did a skit of her getting in a car, and there's nothing wrong with that, all right? So the bottom line is Dylan, McLovin, whatever, you need to come up with your own content. Dustin's live right now. Sorry, guys. You, got, you need to come up with your own content, and you really need to stop fucking clickbaiting and copying other drivers, all right? You, you're a fucking scammer. And, and that's the bottom line. So to end, hopefully that was transparent enough for you guys. Uh, he's done nothing but lie, 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 and lie. And this whole car giveaway is bullshit. So till I see proof, bullshit. There's too many red flags. So, um, yeah. 
that's it, guys. I'm going to leave it there. And look at him there. 27 minutes ago, he makes a post. What is the best car to use for Uber? Comment down below. What is that car to the right hand? A Tesla. But yet he doesn't have a Tesla. Let's see what his audience thinks. I mean, they're all like lovers. Not your dirty ass escape. <laughs> so, my advice, stay away from them. Um, there's a lot of history that a lot of you may not know. Uh, he's doing it for ad revenue. That's not even his account right there, just so you guys are aware. That is photoshopped. I have a driver. I'm not going to give away their name. They have proof that that is a photoshopped image. And he did make the mistake, I do believe. Um, I'll have to get with the YouTuber that has it to see if he wants to show it. He did make the mistake of um, posting something on Lyft or Uber. And it was basically... Uh, it showed like four or $500, but no rides, right? It was because somebody used his promo code. That's why. So I caution you, stay away from him. Might get some hate for this. Um, yeah, he actual photo of me driving after. You bet you don't drive at all, you little lazy fuck. Might get some hate for this. I don't care because guess what? It's my motherfucking opinion. So, that's all I got for this one. Um, this kid needs to be shut down. He has no business giving right your advice if he's not a driver. Um, you know, if you guys want to take advice from a liar, a fake, a fraud, a copyright thief, go ahead. Do your thing. But I'm going to make myself very clear on this video as to why I'm making it. Um, I wanted to talk about it. If you comment below, let him do his thing. I'm not going to respond to you. I'm just telling you right now. Because I'm tired of hearing that. I heard that. From last night into this morning. No. I'm trying to explain to you why I have my feelings toward this fraud. You either like it, you don't like it, I don't care. You can thumbs down a hundred times. I don't give a fuck. It doesn't bother me whatsoever. Uh, that's all I got, guys. You can check the description below for more useful information. Be smart, be safe. Don't be stupid. For the love of God, please make sure you get your advice from real ride share drivers. Okay, real ride share drivers, not these fakes like make a loving. That's all I got, guys. Till next time, keep Uber and lifting and gigging on later.